Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Um, today we're going to talk about these things again. And these are high vision colour view cameras. So to the left we've got a standard 5 million megapixel colour view. Uh, but these are now POC compatible. So fantastic, you couldn't have the colour views on your POC uh, DVRs previously. You can now. And to the left we've got a colour view but it's part of the turbo hd range it has the built-in pir on the front which is for your false alarm filter which is a really really handy piece of kit it's colour view it has the red and blue flashing lights and of course the front and the sides are perforated because it's got a siren built into it as well now um I've had a look back on our YouTube channel uh, this morning and I've seen lots and lots of comments. I'm sorry, we, we don't always get notifications. I do say to people, go through to our Facebook page. The link is always at the bottom of the description because uh, then that way we stand the chance. YouTube doesn't always send us notifications. So don't think we're ignoring you. We just haven't seen the comments. We are installers after all, and I've got bills to pay. So I'm always out working. I just don't have the time to go back and scroll through them. So always look on the description and go through to the Facebook page. Whether you want just some advice or you want some pricing or whatever have you, that way we'll definitely get to see it. But what I've seen on the um, YouTube comments that I've missed is that people are asking about the white lights. Basically, how do you switch them on and off and can you change the brightness and sensitivity? Well, yes, you can. Now, people are struggling to find it, I believe, because they're reckoning out that it's actually the DVR that does it and it's not. There's a chip inside the camera which you can alter, but you do get to it through the DVR. So what I've done today is I've put these two cameras out for you. Standard Colour View and a Colour View HD Active Deterrent Camera. As you can see, that's camera number one. That's cam camera number two, so we don't get confused. Now, we need to get into the menu to change, either to either switch the light on or off, to change its sensitivity or to turn it up and down. So how do we do that? Camera number one here, your standard colour view. Drop down to the bottom of the screen and click the PTZ controller. Why would you click that? Of course, it's not a PTZ camera, so it's useless to us. Well, no, it's not, because there's the menu button. Looks like three books stacked on top of each other. If you left click on there, voila, that is the menu for inside the camera. So that's how you get inside there. So this is a 5 million megapixel camera, video format. If you use the left and right cursor button, and you can obviously scroll up and down. If you use the left to right, you can change it from 5 million megapixel to 4 million megapixel to 2 million megapixel and then back again. And all you've got to do is scroll down to the bottom of the screen, click the Iris Plus button when you get down to save and exit. I'll show you how to do uh, some stuff with that in a moment. So obviously you can alter that one. Now, what's really important here is the fourth one down smart lights so let's go to our cursor as if we're moving a ptz camera click down four times i'll try and get my hands out of the way there you go and then click the iris plus button which is your do button always remember that and in we go the three at the top are of interest to us light threshold and level and underneath we've got back exit and save and exit so do you want to turn the light off it's set as automatic Let's do so. Remember, I've got some sellotape over here. So I've got it tricked to thinking it's dark. And of course, the sellotape helps you see this particular menu. Just remember, if you've got these in your garden or at work or under some lights, it's very, very difficult to see these menus because the writing is white when there's a lot of light. And that's the reason why I've put the tape on for you. So it says automatic. I'll just scroll up to the right. You can press right or left. And if I click right once, it says off, that light will disappear. Voila. Now, if that's all you want to do, use the cursors again, you're up and down, scroll down to save and exit, and press the iris button, and it'll save it for you. You're done. Save, exit, voila. No more light. 
Now, you don't need these white lights on. Obviously, this one's still on at the moment because we've not been in there. But a lot of people don't like the white light. And if you've got a lot of light out on your street or at your work, in, your, in a car park, whatever it may be, um, or you've got lighting on your house, you might not want that white light on. I know a lot of people who ask for it switching off. A lot of people. That's there for when it's pitch black. But you don't have to have it if you don't want to. And that is how to do it. So as soon as we're still on there, if I right click once, put it back to automatic, the light will come back on. And we can then go on to the next thing. Threshold. If I click down on the cursor, threshold. One, two or three. And of course that is the sensitivity of the chip. So you might want it a little bit more sensitive to bring the light on earlier. Or you might want it a bit less sensitive to bring it on later. Mess around that to your heart's content, exactly the same thing, up to the cursors, left and right. Once you've got it where you want it, down to save and exit, and your Iris Plus button. That, that. Easy peasy. Here's a good one. Level. Not many people mess with the threshold, but a lot of people do mess with this. So that's at its brightest. It's on number five. So if I click to the right, it will jump to number one. And watch how dim this goes. Ready? There you go. So that's on its very lowest setting. So I'm going to click it again and again and again. And I'm going to go back up to number five. So it's on number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. It's brightest. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. I want still on number two, three, four, and five. It's brightest. And I'll cycle back through that again. One, two, three, four and five and you can see that even with the amount of light i've got in the studio so imagine what a difference that makes on a night outside it really is a big change the step from one up to its maximum of five is huge so you can do that as well and of course when you found your level that you want down to save and exit iris plus button and that saves it easy peasy lemon squeezy now i'll just go to back press the iris button underneath there is a functions don't really need that for this camera especially when you've got a dvr like this because in there is like your privacy settings and your motion detection and of course the dvr itself has all those things that are easy to access so well it's not bother but that function section will be very important for this camera so what i'm going to do Jump down to save and exit because I've not, I've not messed with anything. Press the Iris Plus button and it's gone. Now I'll click out of this PTZ controller. Bring both cameras up. And now go to this camera. The Turbo HD. Same thing. Down to the bottom of the screen. Click PTZ controller. Again it's not useless because we click the menu. And there is the menu for this particular camera. Video format is set at 2 million megapixels at 25 fr at frames per second. Don't need to alter it, that's what this camera is. Absolutely nothing wrong with the 2 million megapixel machines. In fact, they still outsell the 5 megapixels, so there's a reason for that. Let's come down to Smart Light. Press the iris button, and we've got exactly the same controls in here. Light threshold and level the only thing that's underneath is mode and it's on mode one and there's mode two as well and that slightly changes the contrast the your cameras faff with them all you like and of course if i just jump into there because it's it's already lit up and right click off goes the light straight away if i right click again put it back into automatic on it comes voila so Really, really simple. It's exactly the same menu as that one on the left-hand side, other than the mode. Make sure you, when you alter that, it's on a night, and you can see what the differences are, mode 1 or mode 2. I prefer mode 1. So I'm just going to drop down to the back, and press the Iris Plus button up here in the corner, and then come down to Function, and press the Iris button. Now, this is worth looking at on this camera. Not on that one, but it is on here. PIR level, it's set at number four at the moment, 
and that's the sensitivity of your PIR sensor. So when you activate your false alarm filter on your Hikvision DVR, you can change the sensitivity of this. Number one being at its weakest, number five being at its most sensitive. Underneath we have PIR detection mode. It's set on outdoor. There's indoor as well. In fact, I believe it's set as that as standard. I like it on the outdoor because I've noticed that the push notifications through to your mobile phone are about a second and a half to two seconds faster when it's set on outdoor. Other than that, I cannot see a single difference. But because of that, it's worth changing to outdoor. Underneath is the alarm time. It's set at five seconds as standard. You can put that up to 10, 15, 30. I think you can even do 60 seconds. And that's for the amount of time that the flashing lights are going off and the siren is ringing. And talking of the siren, next one down, volume. It's set as medium as standard by moving the cursor left and right you can change it to low or high and obviously high is exactly what it says it is it screams its head off and again underneath motion detection privacy all the stuff that's built into that camera that we just don't need with a height vision dvr and that is how easy it is to mess with the lights on these i'll just go to save and exit i could press exit because i've not messed with anything and that's it easy peasy japanesey you can change the light so you can switch it on or off you can change the threshold which is the sensitivity of the chip that means when the light actually comes on and when it goes off and um, if you so wish you can mess with the actual light itself you can make it low or high number one being the lowest number five being its highest and i've uh, illustrated that today for you as well so it's great to put a piece of uh, masking tape on the front of them because that's the only way to trick them these things love light and as you can see even with the black masking tape on they can still see you know they can still see the ambient light that's behind so there you go what i'm going to do is i'm going to post this uh link onto all those questions that we've not had notifications for on youtube um and then hopefully this will help those people out who've struggled and can't figure out how to mess with the lights. Um, I will, at the bottom of the description, put the link to our Facebook page. And again, if you're wanting some advice or some pricing, go on to there. At least we get to see it. YouTube is just not that good for notifications. It's as simple as that. And again... We are installers, you know, we've got bills to pay, we're out there working constantly, we're always busy. So if we don't see a notification, we just don't get to troll through all the comments. But I hope you found the video helpful. Um, there is a new model of this Colorview um, Turbo HD version that's now got a built-in microphone inside it. It has the three presets inside for the warnings. And you can also press the talk through button and talk through the speaker. And that's going to be a very popular camera. Now, look. The outer case on these is still plastic. These cameras here, I can't give them away. Never mind sell them. But people will have a go at plastic cameras because of the features of these Turbos HDs. When they've got the PIR for false alarm filter, which is worth it on its own has the flashing beacons, has the sirens, and of course, you can mess with those to your heart's content, have one going and not the other. So if you don't want the sound or just want the flashing lights going off, that's fine. And of course, every time that happens, if it's networked, you get a push notification through to your phone. So the new one with the mic will be very popular. I'll do a video tomorrow on it. Um, I've got to pick some up tomorrow, and I'm literally out of this particular model now as well. Uh, this is one off my garage. I had 20 in last week on the shelf on Tuesday. We're on Monday and I'm showing you mine in my garage. So <laughs> that just goes to show how popular uh, the Turbo HD versions are. Um, and of course, that's a 20 meter IR light. Um, if you use their bullet camera, it has uh, a 40 meter. So that's worth bearing in mind. I'll do that on the next video for you. This is Paul logging off at CCTV Systems UK. Stay out of trouble, stay safe. And I'll see you for that next video on the Turbo HD camera. See you again soon.
Bye-bye now.